Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check two new 5 inch frames from Flywall, the Mystic Rock HD and the Vampire 2 HD. These frames are specially designed for the DJI Digital HD FPV system and today in this video I'm going to quickly assemble the frames and go over their features and soon I'm going to feature both in build and flight videos. The main difference between these two frames is that the Mystic Rock HD, just like the non-HD version, is a freestyle frame whereas the Vampire 2 HD is a racing frame. Both frames are available in Titan and Gold, and in addition to 5 inch, you can get the Mystic Rock HD also in 6 and 7 inch versions, and the Vampire 2 HD is available only in 5 inch. Let's start with the Mystic Rock HD. Inside its box, you can find some stickers, the assembly diagram, top, bottom, and middle plates, four carbon fiber arms, a bag with all the needed M3 screws, Aluminum side plates for mounting a micro-sized FPV camera. Eight aluminum standoffs. A high-quality Flywheel branded Kevlar battery Velcro strap. Four arm LED units. A DJI Air Unit harness. A foam sticker for the top plate. And finally, 3D printed TPU parts that will enable you to mount the DJI camera, the antennas of the Air Unit, and a GPS and an Immortal T antenna. Here you can see how it looks like when the Mr. Croc HD is assembled, and since except the 3D printed TPU parts, this frame is identical to the non-HD version, which serves me well as a great platform for testing VTXs, I'm not going to repeat the building procedure, and if you'd like to know more about this frame, you can check out my review over here. The weight of the Mr. Croc HD frame, including the 3D printed TPU parts, is 141.8 grams, and after adding the DJI Air unit, it brings us to a total weight of 186.5 grams. The DJI Air unit is going to be mounted on the front of the frame using a double-sided tape which is not included, and as you can see, this 3D printed TPU part is going to provide plenty of protection for the camera lens and the camera unit. Now on this frame, the DJI antennas are going to be mounted a little bit different than the traditional way. So first of all, you will need to separate these parts, and then insert the antenna in the following manner. As far as I can tell, this is a very elegant and also secure way of mounting the DJI antennas as the M6 connectors are properly secured in their position. Now, by the way, when inserting the standoffs into the 3D printed TPU parts, you will need to apply some force and I recommend to use a hex key driver in order to get it done. In addition, just like the non-HD version, by moving a couple of screws around, you can choose between four patterns for the frame. So you can select between DeadCat, TrueX, StretchX, and hybrid patterns. And as you can see, the DeadCat and the TrueX patterns are going to leave you with no props in view. In case you already own the Mr. Croc frame and you would like to convert it to HD, you don't have to get the entire set. And if you're interested, you can get the 3D printed files separately. Moving on to the Vampire 2 HD 5-inch racing frame. Inside its box, along with the stickers, battery velcro strap, LEDs, and the DJI harness that we saw earlier, you can find the assembly diagram, four carbon fiber arms, bottom and top plates, a bag with all the needed screws, four aluminum standoffs, a foam bottom plate sticker for the battery, aluminum side and top plates for the camera, and finally, 3D printed TPU parts that consist on a camera lens protector, four motor protectors, mounts for the DJI Air unit and its antennas, and this shark fin that will help you to flip your quadcopter after crashing it. So now let's quickly assemble the frame. The weight of the frame without the DJI related 3D printed TPU parts is 85.8 grams, and including them, it weighs 95.9 grams. Including the shark fin, it weighs 101.7 grams, and after adding the motor protectors, it brings us to a total weight of 108.8 grams. The wheelbase of the frame is 210 millimeters. The distance between the back motors and the front ones is about 15 centimeters, and the distance between the right motors and the left ones is about 16 centimeters, so this frame features a slightly squashy pattern. In addition, the thickness of each replaceable arm is 5 mm and its width is 9.2 mm. The thickness of the bottom plate is 2.7 mm. The thickness of the top plate is 1.8 mm. 
The distance between the bottom plate and the bottom of the DJI Air unit is 16.4 mm and on the bottom plate you can find both 20x20 20 20 and 30.5x30.5 30 30 mm mounting holes. In order to assemble the DJI Air unit, I recommend to first of all insert the DJI antennas into their position, then mount them on the standoffs, then place the Air unit into its mount and secure the connectors of the antennas, mount the DJI camera inside the aluminum side plates, put the top plate and finally don't forget to protect the lens of the camera. So overall, if you own the DJI Digital HD FB system and you're in the market for a freestyle slash long range frame, you should definitely consider getting the Flyro Mystic Rock HD and I can attest that I have a very good experience using it. As for the racing frame, it looks great, but I still haven't tested it out and I'm looking forward to feature both frames in build and flight videos once I'm going to get the rest of the electronic parts from Flywoo. As always, I would like to thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.